Hey everyone, welcome back to the sunny side. I'm Sunny, and this video right here, we're gonna do a little bit of astrology on Dogecoin. You guys got it? <laughs> there we go. I talked about Dogecoin. I've been telling you, I've been pumping Dogecoin for the last week, and I started on the horoscopes, and I'm to, just to be transparent, I've been buying Doge, and I'm gonna keep pumping it. Uh, today, I'm going to show you the astrology on where I think it's going to, the price of Deutschkorn is going to go in the next couple of days. And I'm going to show you the chart. I'm going to do it just like we do the horoscopes and just as we do the prediction stuff. It's kind of interesting. Now, uh, before we get on with this, if you don't have a crypto account yet, and I don't know why you wouldn't have one, but if you don't have a crypto account yet, uh, I have an affiliate link to crypto.com in the description box. So please click on the link. You're going to get 50 bucks. I'm going to get 50 bucks and it helps support the channel. <laughs> so there you go. And you got to get it. You have to get a crypto.com. You need a crypto account anyways, because that's where we're moving into the future. There's no, we're past the, hey, Sonny, you think Bitcoin is going to take off? We're past that. <laughs> hey, Sonny, you think Dogecoin is going to take off? No, we're past that. Now we're moving into a new world. So you should have your crypto accounts. All right, here we go, man. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So the first thing that's going to happen, I set this chart up. So some interesting stuff. I set the chart up at a different birth time for Doge because there are a couple of different birth times floating around. One is early in the morning. Another is uh, like 9 o'clock at night. And so it creates some different things and it creates different angles to the chart and there are different ways of doing astrology. I put the sun on the ascendant so that all of the stuff that I described to you is uh, easier for you to see. In addition to that, I'm not telling you about the past. I'm not going to tell you anything like silly, like whatever. I'm going to tell you uh, what the price is going to be. <laughs> I'm going to tell you if it's going to be successful. Okay, so here we go, man. So the first thing is, this is just like I do the horoscopes. For those who don't know, I do horoscopes live on the channel here. And I used to write horoscopes for newspapers. A long time ago, I interviewed some of my financial astrolog astrological heroes like Henry Weingarten and Kay Schrenker. And a lot of this stuff comes from them. All right, here we go, here we go. Also, I teach an astrology class. It's online right now, whatever, whatever. All you do is join the member section. Okay, so this is what a full moon looks like astrologically and that's happening for everybody it's not just this this dogecoin or like bitcoin or like this guy or that guy we're all in this universe man and so there's a full moon happening for everyone and so what happens under a full moon is we uncover things the full moon, the moon tends to be your subconscious what you want to do in the background and the sun is what everybody sort of sees you doing now because it's the amount of light that you see in the sky but whatever so under a new moon, it's like, hey, that guy's pretty cool, man. I just met this guy. He's pretty cool. And under the quarter moon, you're like, yeah, I got it. He's okay. He's this. He's a little bit weird. I'm not entirely sure about it. And then when, you, but when we get to the full moon, its entire subconscious is on display, and you're like, oh my god, that guy's a werewolf. <laughs> and so like, or he's loony. And then as the moon progresses, it sort of disappears and it subsides, and then there it's gone. Right? The moon is dark. So that's generally the moon kind of vibe. So whatever's happening, it's going to be on. It's going to it's going to come out. So whatever's happening to Dogecoin in the background that we don't know about, whatever any of those guys are doing, we're going to find out in the next couple of days. And I think it's going to be very very big. Now, as the moon travels through Taurus, see Dogecoin is follows this moon cycle quite closely. And when Doge enters into Taurus, it's going to it's going to rise. It's not going to spike, but Doge is going to rise through Taurus. And just keep in mind that this Taurus moon is not a regular moon. It's like a super duper full moon. So it's completely on display. So it should rise through Taurus, then descend a little into Gemini and then rise quite a bit as it transits through Gemini, and then it's going to crash out in Cancer. <laughs> so, like, so I think in the next couple of days, Deutsch is going to go on a monster, monster run, and then it's probably going to come back to Earth a little bit around Cancer, uh, when the moon's in Cancer, at the beginning of next week, which is cool, man. I'll tell you guys when we get there. Now, that's not the only thing in the sky. So once again, this is a super duper bright full moon that's going to be affecting in Taurus. Next month, when we have the full moon in Gemini, that's going to be a big deal as well. Doge is going to freak out in the full moon in Gemini as well. All right, next. 
Is it all hunky dory, sunny? No, not at all, man. Not at all. Like, not at all. <laughs> not at all. We have this happening. And anyone who knows anything or followed the channel in the last little while, this is a Saturn square. And right now, Saturn is retrograde for the next couple of days, okay? In financial astrology, Saturn retrograde means the accountant is away. So during finan in financial astrology, when Saturn's retrograde, people tend to be loose and fast with the truth and the money and the karma. So I was throwing a bit of money at Doge. I don't know if that was a good idea <laughs> under Saturn retrograde. So, but soon... Right by this time, you're gonna see Saturn right there is black, right? It's not, it's not red. It's not retrograde. So, by the full moon, Saturn's getting ready to move forward, and by Monday, Saturn is gonna, it's it's gonna start its thing. So this for anyone who has anything at 12, 13, 14, 15 degrees, 12, 13, 14, 15, even 16 degrees, Sagittarius or Gemini, you'll know what I'm talking about. You guys felt a significant amount of pain in the last year, especially if your Venus is there. We're talking about the sun being there. So if you're a sun, once again, if, you, if any of you guys have anything around 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 degrees, Gemini or Sagittarius, you're absolutely going to feel the pressure. And that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. And that's what's going to return to the Dogecoin world this weekend. So that's crazy. Now, Doge is going to be out of that. Okay, that's going to put a lot of pressure on it. And But Doge is going to be out of it around January 9th. Right, around January 9th, instead of an applying aspect to 14 degrees, it's going to be a separating aspect. So things are going to get become significantly better for Dogecoin Seriously, as popular as you think it's becoming right now, as uh, popular and everything as you think it's going to be in the next little while, I think it's going to come under a little bit of attack. And then after January 9th, it's going to explode again. Because after that, it's going to make this really healthy aspect to Saturn, right? Saturn's going to try and Saturn for Dogecoin. So Saturn means if the hard work is put in, you're going to receive some major awards. So that's the deal. Saturn's considered like the old sun. Uh, it's yeah. I don't want to get too weird about it in astrology. I don't open any crazy debates happening. But that's what's happening astrologically. In, and so that's what's happening, and that's what I would talk about on the horoscopes. That's what I think is going to happen. I think, the pri I think we're going to hear some unbelievable news in the next couple of days. I think uh, Doge is going to explode through the roof. In the next couple of days, and I think Monday when it, the moon hits cancer, it's going to come back to Earth a little bit. And then it might struggle a little bit until January, and then it's going to freak out. You're going to see Mercury is going to be retrograde right here. So we're going to leave thinking about Deutsch, but when it turns retrograde at the end of November, it's coming back, right? Where It's going to return. Uh, Mars is up here doing a lot of good stuff, right? It's going to turn retrograde for, for the winter. But then it's going to return. So there's a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of, um, I think it's going to be an up and down situation. But I think what's going to happen is it's going to freak out this weekend. I think it's going to come back on Monday. I think it's going to be major Saturn consolidation. I think it's going to be a, a it's going to be a grind. Money's coming in. It's going to be quiet, right? The sun is behind the sun. It's going to be quiet. And then, and then we're going to come back. <laughs> then we're going to come back. So there you go. If you don't have a crypto account yet, please use my link in the, descript in the description box so I can make a couple of bucks as we go through this as well. If you have any questions about this, leave it in the description, leave it in the comment section. If you have any questions about astrology, tune into one of the live streams and just ask. <laughs> ask. And that's it, man. I wish everyone the absolute best. I really do. I hope you guys make a lot of money. This is the world we're in right now. So like this is where we are. Make sure you get a crypto account. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you have any astrology questions, tune in the live stream. Go ahead and ask. From the sunnyside.net, I'm Sunny wishing everyone the best of an amazing, amazing day. Get out there and make a lot of money, guys. And I'll see you soon.